we all have to come to the agreement that we're going to follow the Qur'an and the Sunnah upon the way of the Salaf. And we see that this is the straight path and that is the way to unification and that is the only way for the true unification. Any other way is division. Any other way, not following this way, is really division. Even if there's hundreds of people calling together, unite, 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 but they didn't unite upon this, all of these people, they're the means for division. So the unification is on the way of the of the companions. The unification is on the way of the companions and on the, on the way of the Prophet ﷺ. And the Prophet ﷺ, he warned us from this. And he mentioned that uh, the Yahud, that the Yahud, they split on 72 sects. And that this Ummah was split into 73 sects. It's been mentioned. The Prophet ﷺ clarified. And they said, uh, they said, which one is the safe sect, O Messenger of Allah? Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said, Ma ana alayhi aliyam wa ashabi. Ma ana alayhi aliyam wa ashabi. What I am upon today and my companions. So anybody who is not holding on to that way, even if they're many, they're the, they're the ones causing dissension. They're the ones causing division. The unification is only upon the way of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his companions. Ma ana alayhi aliyam wa ashabi. The saved sex, the one that is not in the hellfire, kulluha fi na illa wahida. All of them are in that fire except for one. Who are they? What I am upon today and my companions. What I am upon today and my companions. Anybody who is not on that way, he is not uh, unified. Rather, he is a cause and a means for division. He is a cause and a means for division. So in reality, not every division uh, or not every iftiraq and separation is blameworthy. The one that is blameworthy is whenever an individual separates himself from the rope of Allah. Whenever a person separates himself from the, uh, the, the understanding of the Prophet and his companions. This is the vision that is blameworthy. As for dividing and separating oneself from the rafilah, the ones who curse the, the, the family of the Prophet, the one who, who worship the family of the Prophet wasallam, the ones who curse Abu Bakr anhu, separating from them entirely, this is a good separation. This is praiseworthy and this is required. And this is the meaning of La ilaha illallah. This is the meaning of La ilaha illallah, Muhammad rasulullah And dividing the truth from the falsehood, this is a good division. This is a good iftirak, to separate the truth from falsehood so it's clear, and to not mix it, pure truth, clear. This is good division, separating from the falsehood. Likewise, separating from the people of falsehood. This is good division, separating from the people who call to the deviant ways. This is good division, separating from the people, from the Christians and the Jews, separating from them. Separating from the people of innovation, separating from them entirely, not being with them at all. This is good separation. لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله وما يكفر بالطاغوت ويؤمن بالله فقد استمسك Now whoever disbelieves in that which is worshipped besides Allah separates from them and, and believes in Allah alone. This is the one that is held, held on to the strongest handhold that will never break. So to separate from the people of innovation to separate from the, the, the methodologies of innovation to separate from the innovative creeds this is a good way. This is a good separation. This is praiseworthy to be separated from them. This is a, this is a, a very important point because people say that al jamaa al jamaa al jamaa, but al jamaa is the one who is on, in accordance with the truth. Not the jamaa is not the body of people all gathered together. Even in one narration, uh, Ibn Masud he mentioned that the jamaa is man wafaq al haq wa law kana wahd. Whoever is in accordance with the truth, even if you're by yourself. So the people upon the correct way, sometimes in some lands, they're many and they're strong. And in other times, in other lands, they're few. Maybe they may even be one individual or two in particular lands or particular cities or in particular times. The one who is truly holding on to the rope of Allah, maybe is only a few in a particular land and in a, in a, in a particular time. In another particular time or another particular place, they might be strong and there may be many. But the case is, the reality is, the one that is holding on to what the Prophet ﷺ was upon and his companions, radiallahu anhum, sincerely and truthfully. Not only claiming, but claiming, yes, naam, and then applying and seeing the fruits from the actions. Seeing the fruits from the actions.